All right, guys. So here's a little update for the Miata. I haven't posted in a while. Weather's starting to get nice, getting excited, starting to work on the car some. Uh, but yeah, let me get started. So as you can see, the headlights are ripped apart. Um, that's because this guy right here, if you can see how bad that is, decided to go on me. I was checking it all winter, all winter, no problems, no problems, always worked. And then I take it out for the first drive and don't work. So that kind of sucked, but it's okay. I'm going to wire it in a nicer way. And uh, I got them working now. I just got to solder it up and make it all clean. But yeah, so I'll go on what's going to happen soon. Um, so for starters, turbo's fucked right now. Uh, this little guy right here. My V-clamp, or V-band clamp, however you want to call it, uh, it somehow became loose. And it wasn't loose before, but I noticed it because my car was making weird noises and I was able to tell something was wrong and then I was revving on it a little bit. And then I noticed, noticed my uh, outlet was fucking twisting. And so I grabbed right here and I was fully able to go like this. And I was like, well, there goes that turbo. So I'm actually on my way tonight <clears throat> to go pick up a low kilometer um, TDO4. Uh, it's uh, 90,000 kilometers on it, he said. But yeah, and then I uh, am in the process of putting in my uh, panel back here. Looks sick. Uh, got it cleaned up a bit. There's some of my blood on there. That sucked. But yeah, it's got some sanding to do. A little bit of work to be done, but it uh, looks good for now. Right in this corner gave me a lot of problems, though, as you can see, how to sand. I had to sand. I sand that a lot, but it still rubs, so still need to sand some. But uh, yeah, I had to cut back some more the hair and then the, la the lock doesn't fit right, so. I had to smack that down with a hammer to get it to align properly. Then I had to cut behind that. Uh, I'll show you guys in another video what I had to do for that, but that was a pain in the ass. And then I had my V-band clamp underneath on my downpipe connecting to the cat. It decided to uh, fuck off as well. So got these little cheap replacements, three inch V-band clamps, put that on yesterday. And yeah, that's pretty much all it I've been up to right now. I need, desperately need, to put on a new uh, splitter. I'm going to go a little bit uh, shorter. Um, should be okay. This is like if you see the line here, about an inch or two. It's not straight, but whatever, you get the drift. And then that way, I can still build canards if I'm decide to in the future canyards i probably pronounced it wrong um my tires are almost slicks <laughs> so i'm going to have to get new tires i'm going to be going 245s because these are 15 by nines and i'm not a huge fan of the slight uh stretch and i like the uh, flat walls so i'll be doing that as well soon very soon probably uh in the springtime it'll be a cleaner look i'll probably have to raise the car just a little bit pull the fender some more we'll see um but yeah sweater's fucked i'll be making a video on how to build it for sure because i didn't make one last time um and so i'll be getting a new garage soon because we're moving so that's gonna suck for a little bit so what i'm gonna have to do is uh so i don't know if you guys have noticed this is kind of shit see that white stuff those are stains and I don't want to sit here and, you know, try to fix this hood. It's not a bad hood by any means. It just needs to be cleaned up. I'd rather sit there for a while on it, honestly. But uh, I'm not a huge fan of the cuts I made. And I have a really super clean hood right there, actually. You can see the top of it. And I'm just going to maybe saw this and put that hood on and cut it up and do the same thing just so I have some more room. And then my bumper, if you see the waves, uh, the waves are there. You can somewhat tell, but yeah, they look like crap. So I have another bumper, 
So I'm gonna get that painted when I get my finish panel painted. And then that way it'll look clean. And yeah, so that's pretty much what's set for the springtime. A lot to do. I'm, I'm going to be building a ducting system because it's inadequate right now. And I need more air to my radiator and every air's going everywhere. So new ducting kit or DIY duct for that. Ducting, whatever you wanna say. Um, and then I have to install my oil cooler because oil is getting toasty. I already know it. it's getting real thin. And uh, I gotta fix this. I have a 90 somewhere right here. Boom. So I'm gonna pop a 90 there, cut it back a little bit, cut this back a little bit, and throw another 90. And that way, that is all clean. So it doesn't have this bend anymore. Thank God. Uh, yeah, other than that, what else, what else is new? What else am I planning on doing? Yeah, I gotta cut, I gotta cut the, uh, above. My, I gotta recut my bumper cut because it's not flush or not straight. So it looks like shit. Uh, oil cooler, oil temp gauge, ducting for all that. Lots to come, man. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm not gonna make a video of me soldering in these headlights because you guys would probably find that hella boring. And honestly, I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to watch that either. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos because this thing is going to be hitting the streets in a couple months. Actually, April 1st, I'm putting on insurance. So it's got to be ready by then. I'll be hitting track days. I got the truck. Oh, uh, I haven't told you guys about the new vehicle yet, but new vehicle's out right sitting right here. And I gotta make a whole video on that, but I wanna hit I wanna hit 10,000 kilometers on it first, so that I can give a, a, a decent review about it, or at least my opinions after 10,000. And yeah, stay tuned, guys. I already got a video up, already modifying it, so or not up yet, but I got a video already made. I'm just gonna throw this up, throw my review up, then some DIY videos are gonna come for that vehicle now. And you guys might like it, you guys might hate it, but it's uh, it's for good reasoning, and uh, you'll find it in the video. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, guys.